My name is Mark Bradshaw, and I'm doing a master's in translation studies here at the uh, University of Edinburgh. Well, I um, have used Wikipedia my whole life, it seems, uh, ever since I was a student in high school. And it's amazing. I mean, I have it as an app on my phone. You know, I use it a lot just for checking simple uh, facts or looking up something or seeing when a movie was made, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, you know, I, I seem to be able to find it on Wikipedia. And so obviously the idea that I could actually do something a little bit, uh, translate an article from Spanish into, into English as I did, uh, and, you know, give a little bit back was really appealing to me. I, uh, I found it really, I don't know, uh, I was passionate about it and it was also something that fulfilled me, I guess, in a way. What I ended up choosing was uh, a Spanish article that was um, Franquismo Sociológico. Uh, and I found that article just mainly by kind of searching through from one article to the next, linking uh, to try and find an article that actually hadn't been uh, either written in English or had even a stub in English uh, that was completely off the English Wikipedia. And uh, it was by doing that little... Uh, you know, bit by bit that I managed to find an article that I, uh, that I enjoyed. It was interesting and it was also the right length. Um, and uh, after finding the article, then it was about how was I going to translate this. And so I used my sandbox and um, I basically built it from, you know, the ground up. And I had my, uh, the Spanish article on one side of the screen and my English sandbox on the other side and just went through... Uh, Sometimes I would have to use the, the actual um, content editor in terms of the pictures and, and boxes and things like that that I needed to, uh, to use. But I've kind of used things like that before, so it wasn't too much of an issue. Um, and then with citations and things, yeah, it was kind of like I was learning as I was doing uh, and j just by checking other pages as well to see how they did it and, you know, the back, the, the, the behind of other, of other pages that, that really helped just to see the construction of it. And so when I did my own, I was able to copy what, what their structure was. Um, I guess when it came down to actually doing the translation, uh, I found it quite interesting because I know what Wikipedia is about, and it's about having, um, you know, this kind of unbiased language, and uh, it's all very just factual, and everything's backed up by citations. And and while this article was backed up with citations, and it was a good article on the Spanish Wikipedia, I found that there were a few um, passages that were somewhat biased. Uh, I mean, it was talking about Francisco Franco as a dictator in Spain, um, and so it was natural. I, I assume, but the, the language choice itself, the words, I can't remember them off the top of my head right now, but they were definitely slanted uh, one way. And so when I was doing this translation, I, I knew that Wikipedia didn't necessarily want that kind of language, uh, or it would have been flagged anyway. So I guess I had this decision as a translator, is this important to keep, you know, uh, this, this kind of biased language, or can I find a a way of saying it that isn't as biased, and so yeah, in some occasions I would I, I had to do that. Uh, from it was my choice and my decision, but I felt that it was uh, justified in that sense. Um, in terms of the actual uh, the differences between the Wikipedia's, there was a few things there. There was uh, the way the boxes are set up and things like that. Uh, I had a lot of large quotes. Uh, that were set out, set off in boxes in the Spanish Wikipedia, and in the English one, they um, they weren't put into boxes. They were just uh, quotes that um, sat between lines of of, um, of text. So little things like that were I also had to think about, and um, yeah. So I think with this sort of article, because it was about such a, a, a kind of a controversial topic or a topic that. Uh, at, in Spain, people talk about it and it inflames passions and whatnot. I think it, that definitely was a hindrance, but also it was a, a challenge and it was something interesting that I that I could um, look at. When you're a student, the biggest problem is is actually doing practical translations. I mean, we get a bunch of different uh, things to do, you know, excerpts of, of books or, or whatever that we translate and talk about with our fellow classmates and our teachers, but it's, you know, it's just for us or it's just for our teachers that we're, we're not actually out there doing something that affects other people or other people will read. 
So to be given the opportunity to translate something practical that will end up being read by people and, and used by people, I think just that motivation itself was, was the biggest positive uh, of, this, of this project. Um, the, uh, yeah, I mean, thinking that, that it would have an end reader I think was was probably the biggest uh, the biggest thing, and so obviously then my actual translation of it was affected because I was thinking, wow, this is going to be read by people around the world, you know. So I have to, well, not only do I have to be professional about it, but I have to, you know, think of them as my target audience and not just please a teacher or whatever the case may be. So I think that was uh, one of the biggest positives for me. And yeah, just the practical translation work, you know, just getting an opportunity to translate something that I was interested in. Um, on a on a website and that that I use regularly, I think was uh, was a big positive. Yeah, so all of those things were were wonderful about this project. In terms of how this Wikipedia project and and how it relates to higher learning um, to the universities and whatnot. I mean, there's always that same bias, right? That, oh, you know, don't use Wikipedia. You can't use it for references. It's, uh, you know, it's anathema to what we do in, in university. But uh, I think this this project really shows that that doesn't have to be the case. And actually, the, the two can work really well together. I mean, there's w using it to to source uh, or to cite for uh, an academic paper is one thing, but actually using your knowledge that you gain in university to help uh, the Wikipedia project and to add on to the Wikipedia project, I think, is a great opportunity and a great resource that we can offer uh, as uh, university students or teachers or whatever the case may be. Um, and so, especially with it's so easy now with the visual editor and whatnot. I mean, it's uh, it's really. It's on us, and, and we have the opportunity to, to, to help disseminate information. I think we can, we can do that. And translation studies, or whatever the case may be, uh, it, it has a role for us, uh, and we can uh, contribute to it, I think. And it, it helps us, and it helps Wikipedia, and it helps people around the world. So why not? <laughs> well, I think uh, the role of translation is I mean, they, they use this a lot, but it's the bridge between uh, two cultures or two languages. And um, especially on the internet, uh, you've got so much of it is in English uh, and not as much in, in the, you know, the other 6,000 languages in the world. Um, and a lot of that, especially with regards to Wikipedia, is written by Anglophones, uh, people who speak English natively. Um, and even if they're writing about something that takes place in, in Spain or Russia or wherever the case may be, they're writing it from their own um, Anglophone perspective. And I think, uh, especially from my, my position as a, as a translator into English from French and Spanish, I think I have this opportunity to translate articles that were written by people who are French or are Spanish or Spanish-speaking or French-speaking and writing about something that is important to their cultures. And so by translating it into English, I'm not imposing my Anglophone view on whatever it is that they're writing about. I'm taking what they've written in their native language and showing it to the English-speaking world uh, as it was, if you, uh, if you will. So I think that's, that, that can be my role, and I, and I think uh, that's perhaps the role of something like Wikipedia on the Internet, where you have a database, uh, a, a massive uh, database of, of information from all around the world and from so many different languages and cultures. I think it's this, this opportunity to, yeah, make this bridge between one culture and the other, especially to turn the tide against the uh, kind of the English hegemony and, and be able to bring some things back towards English from the other uh, cultures um, and languages. So that's what I think. If someone came to me and, and you know asked me what's so what what is there at the University of Edinburgh's uh, Masters of Translation you know what is there uh, at the University of Edinburgh's Masters in Translation that would be interesting for for me and I I guess I could I would definitely say to them look we've got this thing where we translate um, Wikipedia articles as part of our uh, as part of our program and it's just this perfect opportunity I think to practice what we're learning but also to be able to use our knowledge uh, to help uh, and, to, and to add to something that um, 
that we use so often. I mean, who doesn't use Wikipedia? So I think it's a it's a great opportunity to um, to practice and to uh, and to um, spread a little bit of knowledge uh, around the world.